the first time he had the freedom to create, to be really creative, was the Indiana Jones piece. And that's when, you know, he developed a lot of different techniques for the, the visual effect of the poster. And that was a, to me, that was a really big turning point in his career. I did one comp and sent it to him. They said, that's great, paint it. So there were no changes, no other ideas. That was straight up my idea. No interference of any kind from anybody. So I just painted it freely and with that, the uh, confidence, because I had designed it, that I could make it nice. Sent it to him and that's what the Temple of Doom poster became. And that was the one where he said, gee, we like that design. From now on, that's indie. That is the look. When Drew came along and started to do the, the, uh, the work, it really made a, made a big difference. Uh, it focused attention on that character, gave him a, a nobility and a heroic nature, and uh, uh, frankly, made me look good, you know. So I, um, I was a happy guy. You know, that whole, you know, feeling of texture that he brings into his art, the feeling that you can almost reach out and touch it, you feel like there's, you're gonna feel the smoothness of, of, of the face of one of the heroines, Indiana Jones, you're gonna feel the gruffness of the villains. It's so tactile, his art.